a sandwich between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. You know, it's a post fight review for Michael Collin versus Lee Wood, and it was one of the better fights I've seen in a while. Fight of the Year candidate. Lee Wood comes out of nowhere and pulls a rabbit out the hat and gets to come from behind and knock a victory. We're going to talk about it. But before we talk about it, let, let's take some time to admire Sean Zettel playing Fight Night. He's right. I'm, I'm cheesing right He's now. Cheesing right He's cheesing right now. He's Isaac Frost. He's like, Isaac Frost. You know, try to, try to get to the, the milestone 300th victory yeah. on Fight Night, you know. But all jokes aside, look, I wanted to talk about the fight with uh, Colin and, and, and Lee Wood because, you know, I'll be honest with you guys, anybody who watches the channel video by video knows I haven't really been excited about Lee Wood versus Michael Conlon. It just hasn't got me excited. I'm not even sure I did a video about the fight leading into it, to be honest with you, but I watched and I got to say, man, I was blown away by the fight. You know, um, the narrator coming into the fight seemed to be that Mick Conlon was going to outbox Lee Wood. Um, and things like that, and, and it looked like a pretty good prediction for most because you know early on Colin got out to a great start, uh, having a lot of success primarily out of the southpaw stance, throwing this like sweeping overhand left that for like the first four and a half to five rounds, Colin really had no answer for it. He couldn't defend it. Um, he actually wound up getting dropped at the end of the first round, and through like the first three rounds, you know. Conlon looked like he was on his way to a virtuoso performance, a, a, a career best perform performance. The kind of performance that he really needed at this point in his career to, to get to the next level. And, um, you know, as the fight progressed, you kind of see why people weren't high on Conlon because, like, he, uh, he allowed Lee Wood to get back into the fight. You know, he started, like, doing this Floyd Mayweather imitation on the ropes, you know, blocking shots, dipping and slipping, all this stuff. And he allowed Lee Wood to, to, to get some shots off to work and to build some confidence round by round. And it seemed like from like round four on, slowly but surely the punch out put of Conlon uh, dropped. And then on top of that, you saw Lee Wood start to get on top of him, close that gap, close that range. And then, um, and then, when he was able to get Colin to stop moving and and allow himself to plant his feet, he was working that body really well, landing some great body shots, and the body shots were having a, a great effect on Colin. Now, I got to be honest with you guys. Um, I had the fight pretty uh, clear that, that Colin was winning. Like in the 11th round, Colin really started to turn the fight in his favor when uh, he scored a knockdown. Some people thought it was a slip, but the replay showed that it was a knockdown with a left hook. And, uh, you know, going into the 12th, I thought, you know what, okay, Mick Conlon has a chance to really make it interesting on the scorecards. Now, never in my wildest dreams did I think that Mick Conlon would stop him, but that's exactly what happened. Um, you know, oh, that Lee Wood would stop. oh, my bad, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Sean. That Lee Wood would stop Conlon. And, uh, you know, Conlon was on the ropes. Um, he started to retreat a little bit because the, the, the body shots, the, the, the work rate of Lee Wood was getting to him. And uh, he leaned, he kind of leaned in and he got caught with a shot right on the dome. Boom. And he was instantly out on his feet. Once Lee Wood saw that, it, he, 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 he ran for blood. He smelled blood and he finished him through like a three or four punch barrage. And he knocked Michael Conlon out so badly that literally they didn't even show him on TV. Like me and Sean made the joke that, uh, you know, well, I made the joke, not Sean. I made the joke that uh, Lee Wood knocked Conlon into the fifth dimension because they, didn't, they never showed, showed him on TV. So... You know, it, it was a crazy fight. If you missed it, you missed out on, on a hell of a fight. Um, I pray that Colin is okay because, you know, you never want to see that kind of thing happen to any fighter. But this is kind of a reminder of the harsh realities of boxing. You know, anybody can go in there at the drop of a dime and have that moment where they get, like, kind of, like, humiliated. So I hope he's okay. I hope that his health is okay and he can come back and be healthy for his family's sake. You know, wish bad on all fighters. But, man, you got to give Lee Wood so much credit because... This is a guy that's risen from obscurity. I mean, early in his career, he was boxing around that British level against guys like Jazza Dickens and getting outboxed by those kind of guys. He's gotten with Ben Davidson, and he's seen to found some good chemistry and continuity with him. Uh, and, and it's back-to-back -back upset victories over two notable names of the featherweight division. You know, first with Zhu Can. Um, you know, he neutralized the punch I put of Zhu Can and then ultimately wound up stopping him. 
then this fight with Colin. So, you know, now who knows what's next? You know, they, they were talking about the winner of this fight maybe fighting Emmanuel Navarrete. I would love that fight. You know, that'd be, that'd be a great fight. Um, you know, maybe the winner of Kiko Martinez versus Josh Warrington, which I think is the most uh, realistic option uh, of the two. You know, there's a lot of options. But honestly, look, man, forget the options. Lee Woods, just, just give the man his flowers. Like, you don't got to think he's no pound pound fighter. You don't got to think he's a no great fighter or nothing like that. But, man, the guy, he behaved like a champion in the, in, the, in the back part of the fight. You know, it's easy. It's easy to look good in the first four, six, seven rounds when things are going your way. But how about when things don't go your way? How about when you get taken to those deep, dark places and you persevere and you persist and you show that you have that dog in you? You know, Lee Wood did that in this fight. He did it in the Zhu Cam fight. And, um, you know, credit to him. Cre credit to him. You know, um, there's so many fights out there that I love to see for him. We'll talk about that more later on, but I wanted to say, uh, give my prayers to Mick Conlon, give my tip of the cap to uh, Lee Wood because, you know, he was having a lot of problems. So I'm going to leave it at that. You guys take care. Give me your thoughts. Uh, how did you have the fight scored? Uh, you know, who you want to see Lee Wood fight next? And uh, yeah, let me know all that about down below. Take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god